Hi there again everyone, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com and I got an exciting new project to share with you. Brand new product, the MSD. Stand by, let's take a look. So you may be wondering what the heck is an MSD? Well, it actually stands for modular subdriver and I'm really excited because this uh, unit actually replaces the standard uh, original generation of subdriver that's been in production for many, many years now. And if you recall, or if you've owned one of these in the past, it would basically consisted of a single length of polycarbonate tubing divided into three sections, a motor compartment, a ballast compartment, and a battery compartment. That methodology is still employed with the new modular subdrivers, but the cool thing is they are actually completely uh, individual modules. And what that allows us to do uh, is create different takes on the same theme. Uh, and by that, I mean you can have different diameters of each section so that you perfectly match it up to the configuration of your RC submarine. So, without any further delay, let's take a look at one that I just finished assembling as proof of concept uh, and for a customer. So here you go. This is uh, an assembled, tested, and ready to install MS. D. And uh, we're going to talk about this here. So you can see the three sections. We have our motor and pump compartment. We have our ballast compartment. And we have our battery compartment. Now this particular subdriver is showing some optional uh, equipment, namely the remote on off switch, the emergency gas backup system, uh, and the optional equipment with the battery and link monitor and the automatic pitch controller. But other than that, this is kind of what you would be looking at uh, if you got the cylinder. Now, when you get it, you'd actually see three evenly um, distributed compartments. There would be uh, about a 12 inch motor compartment, a 12 inch ballast compartment, and a 12 inch battery compartment. And what uh, you do with this new setup, it completely comes apart here here, 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 and here. <laughs> so all of that plastic tubing is completely separate and segregated from the rest of the module. You can cut it to perfect size. When you order it, the uh, motor and battery compartments are standard in this uh, first product that's out. These are two and a half inch diameter um, end compartments. But the central ballast tank can actually be two and a half inch diameter as this one is three inch or three and three quarter inch diameter. Uh, for a future product, we're going to actually be releasing a three inch motor compartment uh, going to a three inch battery compartment. Uh, that is going to be the next version. Um, so obviously the big advantages to this system is that uh, completely modular, very easy to take apart, uh, maintain, upgrade or repair if necessary, uh, obviously very customizable. These new cylinders come standard with uh, forward mounted servos, uh, two in this particular case. Um, only one has been set up for this particular cylinder that would be utilized for bow planes, but the other one could be used for, for example, uh, retractable bow planes, uh, opening torpedo shutters, or any number of things comes like that, ready to go. Uh, the other big change uh, in this unit is the fact that we went to brushless power. So this is a 790 kilovolt brushless motor. Uh, obviously a lot of torque and very, very efficient. Uh, we wanted to step up to that new technology as opposed to the brushed motors that were in the previous iteration of the cylinders. Uh, this ballast system, this MSD, employs the standard SAS or semi-aspirated uh, ballast system that was uh, envisioned by David Merriman. And uh, an integral part of that is the snorkel valve that gets mounted in the sail. In this particular case, this would be mounted in a blue back, so it's a short vertical uh, snorkel. They come in different variations. Um, Let's power this thing up and uh, we'll show it to you in operation. 
going to extend our antenna, turn on our radio, and as I mentioned, this one has the remote on off switch installed, and here's the, uh, the fob for that on the back. I'm going to press that and just listen for the power up sound coming from the electronic speed controller. A nice audio signal there showing that it, it has a good signal with the receiver. Uh, let's test some of the functions here. We've got our, uh, our forward dive planes. We've got uh, rudder output. We have our rear dive planes. And that's on an automatic pitch controller. Uh, you can see that in operation as I move that cylinder up and down. Uh, we've got our brushless power. Very, very cool sounding. And then we've got our, uh, our ballast system. We've got uh, dive and surface functionality. So that air pump pumps air from this uh, dry compartment into the ballast tank. The model rises, the snorkel opens, and air uh, pressure equalizes until you're at full surfaced trim. Um, while I've got you here, let's, uh, let's test out the emergency backup. And that's part of the BLM system battery and link monitor so basically it listens for good signal from the transmitter and if it doesn't get it I'm gonna turn it off here you'll see these lights switch immediately there's gonna be a six second delay or sorry four second delay the gas ballast blows for six seconds purges that tank brings that model up to the surface and uh, in theory gets you back up to radio control Radio signal re-established, and we are good to go. So there you go, everyone. That's just a quick overview of the new MSD subdrivers now available at NautilusDryDocks.com. Get your order in there. Uh, they're going fast, so their production could be a little bit delayed when you put your order in. Uh, if you're curious as to uh, what the inventory levels are looking like, shoot me an email. If you have any questions, by all means, reach out to me anytime. I would love to hear from you. This has been a quick overview of the MSD modular subdriver available at NautilusDryDocks.com. Thanks for joining me everyone. Catch you next time.